this is my dressage test and Goose and I are still learning lots about dressage and it's also a very long test so I won't be reviewing all of it but here is a little snippet of our trot down center line and the continuation of our pattern. He did really well and I was really proud of him so I was very thankful for this run in dressage. This is my Huntsy equitation go. We're going ahead and lining up and preparing to start. I receive my acknowledgement and I go ahead and start on the left diagonal. We don't have stirrups for the beginning of this pattern. Um, so that was a nice challenge to add to the pattern. It looks great and my no stirrup work is coming through, which is awesome. We move up into our left weave canter Still no stirrups, I picked them up halfway through the circle right there. We finish our circle and come back onto our center line and then do a fine lead change to right lead where we move up into a hand gallop. Come across the diagonal in our hand gallop and in the middle we change to an extended trot. It came back really nice for me and was very responsive and willing. Move into our nice flowy extended trot and come back into the middle for a right lead, not lope, right lead canter. Then we'll come across the top and come back down the center line. And then at the middle, we will transition to a sitting trot and a sitting trot to the end. It looks really nice and a 360 degree forehand turn. He loves forehand turns, so this was really good for us. And that was the end of our pattern. This is my trail equitation go. I'm waiting for acknowledgement. We go ahead and start by walking over the bridge with the tarp. He really does not mind much of anything, so he didn't care about the bridge. Moving into our canter, we had a little bobble there. Um, we move into our canter, back into the box. We'll do our 360 degree right box turn. So this is a belly turn, which means they don't hold their haunch pivot foot or their forehand pivot foot. Move right up into a jog and take a sharp right turn. And then we will gather some impulsion for the triangle obstacle. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, <laughs> it's a very difficult obstacle, but he handles it quite well. Move up into our right lead and we will come across the top down the center line. I didn't quite set him up the best there, but he saved it for us. Now we're going to move into our backing up obstacle. So here the goal is to back him up straight and then get his back and front feet through that little gap in the middle. So of course this takes some looking around and lining up. So I'm asking for him to back. You do get penalized if you hit poles, so that's why I'm being very careful. Then we continue straight backing until the pattern says perform necessary turns to reposition. So we just chose a 90 degree forehand turn. Move straight into our side pass. 
I have to admit my mistake here. I overside passed, so I had to get myself back into position to perform the next necessary turns, which were a 90 degree haunch turn and then a forehand turn. But it's pretty much open to whatever you want to do. Finish the side pass and I stop and acknowledge and that is the end of my pattern.